Hi, I just wanted to give you the background to the audio that you are going to hear in a few minutes. Um, back in 2016, I started a podcast called the Are You Saved Though podcast with two other people. And its intention, much in the same way as Yam, was to reach the young adult group and to tackle issues that I didn't feel the church was really tackling at the level it needed to tackle. Um, we only got to three episodes and I think the final episode we did, which never actually went out, was called Black Lives Matter. And it was addressing some of the issues that were going on at the time. Uh, after recording this podcast, the two people I was working with asked me not to release it. I think they were quite uncomfortable um, with it because probably was a bit too radical for them. So I'm not going to release the whole thing. I'm going to... Um, you know, respect their wishes, but I'm going to release the opening statement I made um, because it's very important and we need to be careful as Christians and we need to look into things before we jump on them. That's why you haven't seen um, YAM really uh, align itself with the Black Lives Matter movement, not with the sentiment or certain sentiments, but with the movement because we don't stand for what the movement stands for. And if you listen, um, I'm going to explain that in this opening segment from the 2016 Are You Saved Though podcast, Black Lives Matters. Take a listen. Hello guys, welcome to the Are You Saved Though podcast. This podcast is a young Christian's take on the 21st century world. We'll be exploring what it means to be saved in modern society. So I hope you enjoy it. It's been a long time since we left you without a dope part to step two. Step two. Sorry. Someone just backslided. <laughs> someone just someone just went back to Aaliyah and Tim Lad. I'm sorry. I just needed to do that. I was waiting for like three months that we could not do this so I could just start an intro. <laughs> but anyway, the uh, topic of this uh, podcast, number four, something very close to my heart. It is Black Lives Matter. So I'm going to start us off with this one. We're here with Jay and Tara. Say hello, guys. Hi. So let me preface my comments. I'm going to go right in. Let me preface my comments or my point by saying this. I think I'm probably the most if you want to put it that way, pro-black person there could be. And what I mean by pro-black is pro-truth and truth about black people and their history. So I was the guy in school who would say to the teacher, I don't understand why there's a Black History Month. And I don't understand why in Black History Month we only see Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Did we not exist before slavery? Like, or the civil rights movement. I never understood that in school and didn't have probably the resources to express or find out any information about, you know, why this was happening. Mm -hmm. Obviously, as you grow older, you come into more understanding. So let me just state my position on black people, especially in the Western world. I do understand that there has been a load of lies told about black people. I do understand that along with slavery and colonialism, the, 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 the powers that be created, a, 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 not, not even a theory, they created a narrative about black people being inferior, about them having no history, about Africa being primitive before the colonialist powers got there. We know that all to be lies. We know that Egyptians were actually black people, but I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. We do know that black people have a rich history or people of dark skin in Africa. And we do know that civilization started there. The world's first university was there. And so I've done a lot of research and I've, you know, I've seen the, the textbooks that they used to have promoting these lies. So I know that the whole system in the West is set up to really lie about the history and the truth of black people. I understand that and I, and I still fight for justice over slavery because Holocaust uh, people are still getting paid. So I'm waiting for some of my money and I'm serious about that. Um, there needs to be, there needs to be no. restorative justice and, and God is gonna allow that to happen because he's a God of, of truth and of justice. Now, having said all of that, um, the Bible talks about knowledge increasing. Mm -hmm. And so 
knowledge has increased. So there's there's some things that these these powers that be, I'm just gonna call them uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. They can't deny anymore. So they can't deny certain things, and certain things they've hidden. They can't deny, and people are finding out the truth now. The problem is, some black people are taking it too far, and they're going into spiritism and basically worship of the black man and so what the devil is doing with this new knowledge is he's twisting it twisting it to the point you've got these hebrew israelites now who are these people who who believe that the um the real jews are black and i, I believe them too but I, we ain't gonna go into that tonight but anyway and but what they do is they use scripture and they will use scripture against Christians to confuse Christians who don't really know their Bible. But what their whole point is, is, is what it, what the real agenda. Because what I want to get it out is that Satan has an agenda behind this. And his agenda to destroy black people in this way now is that now we're going to go too far. So you've got the Christian side of it. You've got the Christians who are going to come into certain knowledge because we know that Jesus wasn't white or gay. That, that picture suggests he was. But we'll get there. And so we... What what Satan is trying to do now is have people basically caught up in their in genealogies, as the Bible says, or caught up in their bloodline, which basically means they won't ever need to have faith in Jesus. So if I'm a real Hebrew and I'm a real original descendant of David and Solomon, what these people are trying to bring us back to is the law. And we know that the law has been abolished. But if we are original Hebrews and we have the law, guess what that means? You don't need Jesus. So that's, that, that's from the Christian okay. perspective, how they're going to try and mess up Christians from that way. Yeah. Then you've got the devil trying to mess up Christians who are just going to leave Christianity completely and say, look at history, look what they've done, slavery, da 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 Jesus is not real, who's real, why would you let this happen? And so we have this Black Lives Matter movement. Let me state again, I believe in the justice side of what they're doing. I do believe that there needs to be equality and there needs to be you know a lot of this uh, brutality and, and and systematic and institutional racism against black people needs to stop i'm with them on that but i will not stand with this movement and i will not you know i will not wear the t-shirts and go on the marches because this movement is not of god because god is not in, in anything that is sinful if you go to their website right they've got diversity they've got some stuff in diversity Restor restorative justice we're committed to collectively lovingly and courageously working vigorously for freedom and just all of that love it Unapolo unapologetically black okay because what, what we're going to start going and you see on instagram and youtube people start loving their skin like they're worshiping the skin i'm i'm proud i don't even know the word proud i'm happy to be black i don't have a problem with it but i ain't gonna worship my skin to the point where i'm gonna say the white man was a devil or the, but, that's where some black people take it too far. So this whole unapolog unapologetically black thing, I get it, but I can see where it leads to. I see the, the real agenda behind it, but more, more so than that, transgender affirming. I'm not trans, that's, that, that doesn't line up with scripture. So the, the, the founders of this movement are actually lesbians, so they can't be Christian. Uh, queer affirming, we, I, don't, I don't affirm any of that. So I can't stand with this. And this is why when God came, he wasn't into politics because I can't, he can't back an agenda that is not fully him. He came on his own agenda. He was the king and he came to set up the kingdom and the kingdom has its own rules. And so if we are in the kingdom and the kingdom has its own rules and its own king, we can't just affirm anything. So whereas I, I understand the movement and I understand the, 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 the call for justice and I'm there to fight for justice, I understand the agenda and Satan is looking for multitudinous ways to, uh, to, to destroy the character and to make Jesus insignificant. You have Christians forgetting that they were saved and, and, and delivered by the name of Jesus, by, by invoking that name, who are forgetting that now because they're being attacked with knowledge. And the Bible says, uh, in, you know, in the end times, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And so because so much things seem to be happening to black people. And let me say, black people are not the only people who are suffering in this world, but the agenda is to make it look like we're the only people that are suffering. So let me knock that out. Other people have suffered and are suffering too, not to downplay our suffering, but what the, the idea and Satan's agenda behind this is to cause people to turn away from Jesus. And because black people lack identity in the Western world, a lot of us, we're beginning to try to find identity in our past in spiritism and it's all going back to people are all these people are pointing to egypt half of these people who are pointing to egypt are from west africa 
They can't tell you anything about any West African kingdoms which did, did exist, but they can tell you about Egypt. What's that? We're going back to Pharaoh. We're going back to the worship of the sun god. So understand the agenda. My whole point is understand the satanic agenda. Stand for justice. Stand for truth. Stand for righteousness. Jesus would do too. Trust me, he would be standing for black people on, some, on a lot of these issues that we're standing for. But he's not standing with a movement that affirms... Uh, queers as it says and LGBT because that is anti-family which is anti-God and anti-Christ so that's my whole thing to it I stand with the justice but I don't stand with the satanic agenda which is to, to pull people away from loving their first love who is Jesus